Hi everyone, Carol Brightbill. I want to show you how Google Slides is such a fun program to use. One of the fun things you can do within Google Slides is to make your own grid background. A grid is a series of horizontal and vertical lines that make a very nice pattern. Let's get started. You want to go to the icon menu and select the line icon. And the top item, just select the plain line. Holding down your shift key, drag the line over to the edge and just release. Now you have a line. While this line is selected, I'm going to do a uh, Control C or Apple C for copying. If you right click, you can see where it says copy. Copying the line and I'm just going to do the Control V, paste. And I'm just going to paste a lot of lines going down. They're pretty close together and I don't want them this close together. So the bottom line I'm going to take all the way down place it in the position where I want it. Now, if you do Control A or Apple A, that selects all. If you don't do that, you could also take your cursor and drag, and that would select all also. You wanna to go to the Arrange menu, and you wanna to go to Distribute. Right now, I'm distributing these vertically. And now they're nice and even down the page, but they're still kildered. So I'm going to go back to the range and I'm going to line everything to the left. With everything still selected, I'm going to go back to the range and I'm going to group these. I'm going to Control C copy, Control V paste. Why it's still selected, I'm going to go to the format options and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. Let's make this a little bit shorter. Now they don't go across horizontally the full width what I want them to do. So I'm going to go back to the arrange and I'm going to ungroup these. Taking the last line, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it going across. Let me take the last line now all the way over. Selecting all the lines that are vertical. I'm going to come back up to the Arrange again, and I'm going to distribute these horizontally now. And I'm going to go to Arrange, and I'm going to align to the top. Now I have a very nice grid pattern. So a couple things that I can do if I want to create a nice background. I'm going to put in a blank page, and I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to change the background. Let me give it a nice color that I like. I'm going to make it a gradient color, a pretty blue. I can take my grid now. I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go to the blue, and I'm going to paste that on top. I can take all this grid, selecting the lines, and I can come and change the color now, and I can make them all white. So now I have a nice white grid background, and I have a black and white background. I'm going to come up to the File menu, and I'm going to download as, it can be downloaded as a JPEG or a PNG. I'm going to select PNG, and it will download the grid that is black and white. Saving. Now I'm going to go to the blue grid, and I'm going to go to the File menu, and I'm going to download this also as a PNG, and I'm going to call it blue and white. Now what I can do, I can come up to where it says View, and I can go to the Theme Builder. Now if you change the background on the top slide, that will change all the other slides underneath it. So I'm in this top slide, I'm going to do a right click, change the background, and I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to upload my image, and I like that blue and white. I'm going to select that, open, done. Now every slide in this presentation has that nice blue and white back grid. Any background image is locked in place, so any element you put on top won't move the background image. Hope you enjoyed this fun video on Google Slides. Have a great day, and if you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel.